Identity Server templates are designed to be a starting point for an ASP.NET Core project with Identity Server, and they can be added to the existing list of project templates available in your .NET setup. I'm Roland Guit for Duende Software, the company behind Identity Server. After installing, in Visual Studio or any other IDE, the templates show up when creating a new project, giving you an ideal starting point to work with Identity Server. And of course, the templates can be used in the terminal as well by typing .NET new with a template short name. Installing is easy. Just type .NET new install Duende Identity Server templates. If you already have an older version of the templates, that version will be automatically uninstalled first. Right after the installation, the types of templates with their short names are displayed. There are templates to get started with BFF, and there are a couple of identity server projects to choose from. ISMT will create an ASP.NET Core application with identity server already configured in application startup. All you have to do is provide configuration details. ISUI adds a standard UI to an existing project. These are Razor pages supporting things like login, logout, external login, and various flows. ISASP ID creates a setup for identity server in combination with ASP.NET Core identity. Great when you want to leverage that instead of creating a lot of functionality yourself, such as a user store and user management. While all the other templates have identity servers configuration and persistent grant store in memory, ISEF shows you how to store these in a database using Entity Framework. And ISINMEM is a working solution showing an example configuration and user store for demo purposes, all in memory. Let's set that up using the command line. When opening the project in Visual Studio, you can see the UI is already there, as well as config.cs with pre-configured resources and clients. To separate the configuration of ASP.NET Core's dependency injection and pipeline, two extension methods are used that are present in hostingextensions.cs. In Configure Services, the identity server types are added to DI and we instructed to use the configuration of resources and clients in config.cs. In Configure Pipeline, the endpoints for our identity provider are created. And when we run this project, we see a landing page that is part of the Quick Start UI. Clicking the link to the discovery document proves that our identity provider is ready to go. The in-memory configuration is successfully loaded and used here. Hope this helps. See you in the next video.